Hello again. People love magic tricks, especially tricks that involve money and disappearing stuff. So I have decided to show you a magic trick that involves disappearing money. Here are two coins, a quarter and a penny. Those are real coins. If you don't believe me that it's real coins, then I can use your coins as well. And don't you worry, your money will not permanently disappear. I'm not that bad guy. Watch me carefully. Abra, Kadabra, Baram, Boom. And the quarter disappear. You may think that I hide the quarter somewhere in my right hand. Or on the back side of my left hand. Let me assure you there is none. Watch me carefully. Abra, Kadabra, Baram, Boom. And the quarter reappear. How do I do it? The answer is simple, by magic. And of course, you may find out how we do magic at www.fudoit.com. Have fun. This magic is based entirely on an optical illusion. It's really hard to comprehend how a bigger object can be hiding behind a smaller, isn't it? But it's possible in this optical trick. You will need no special skills to perform this magic. There is only one request. You can show this magic to only one person at a time. One person. And the person should stand directly in front of you, face to face. Make sure there is nobody and no mirrors behind on any of your sides. Let's see now how this magic is done through my eyes. Press the penny on the second joint of your right middle finger. Hold the quarter by the rims in your left hand between your thumb and the second joint of the left middle finger. Both palms are face up to the audience. Make sure your audience, the only one person, sees both coins. Turn your right hand slightly inward and hold the penny flat between your right thumb and the second joint of the middle finger. Hold your left hand in the same position. Your right palm is facing you. Bring your right palm to the tips of the left hand fingers. You should keep fingers of both hands close together. Move slowly your right palm along the tips of the fingers of the left hand. Guide the penny to the quarter. The quarter should come on top of the penny. When the quarter touches your thumb, turn the quarter perpendicular to the penny by pushing your right hand slightly forward in the same slow motion. Hold the quarter and the penny by the rings between the left hand thumb and the second joint of the middle finger. Fix the quarter in perpendicular position at the middle of the penny. Move your right hand back and forth if necessary to fix the coin in the right position. Lift your right hand off the left hand. Your audience sees only the penny in your left hand. Show both sides of your right hand to your audience. Split fingers of your right hand to show that the quarter is not hiding anywhere between your fingers. Stress your audience attention on it. Lift your hand, left hand, up and to your right. Keep your fingers closed, facing you. It's very important to keep the quarter hiding behind the penny or your fingers when you move and hold your left hand. It's quite easy to do it if you drew imaginary line that goes from your left hand thumb through the middle finger to the eyes of your audience. The quarter will be always hiding behind the penny or your left middle finger. Now, you may split your left hand fingers to show that the quarter isn't there either. Close left hand fingers together. You can return your left hand to the basic position that it was at the beginning of your performance. The penny facing your audience. At any other position, your secret hold will be revealed instantly. As soon as you put your left hand in the basic position, you are ready to make the quarter to reappear. Your right palm is facing you. 
bring your right palm to the tips of the left hand fingers. You should keep your fingers of both hands close together. Move your right palm along the tips of your left hand fingers. The right middle finger goes along the penny. Hold the penny flat between your right thumb and the middle finger. Move your right hand backward to your right and rotate the quarter to face your audience. Move your hands apart and show both coins to your audience. Congratulations! You have made the magic. This trick can be repeated successfully many times to the same audience. Have fun!